Jellyfish. jellyfish. Now, you've seen Jellyfish, yes. right? Rising star Liv Hill stars in this. Is a low budget, uh, I mean, made low budget, very, like made yeah. for almost nothing. So first thing to say is hats off. Yeah, well done. For getting the film made. It's a tale of a young girl in Margate caring for her troubled mother and uh, younger siblings. She works in a local amusement arcade to supplement uh, the money. And she also earns money doing whatever has to be done to get the money to buy food for her family. Sinead Matthews is her mum, who is suffering from various sort of depressive issues and really can't get it together, even can't get it together enough to go and sign on. So suddenly they find themselves with their rent not being paid anymore. Meanwhile, at school, there is a drama teacher played by Cyril Henry who is putting on a show at the local theatre. And she it's clear that she wants to be involved in it, but she's also very kind of, you know, stroppy and standoffy. And he sees something in her and he thinks, I'm going to get her to do a comedy act. Stand up. I am standing up. Your act, stand up, as in comedy. Two minutes, no swear words. Jokes. I want you to go figure out what comedy is. Oh, but sir... No buts. Here. Pen. Yeah. Write these names down. Bill Hicks. <laughs> Richard Pryor. George Carlin. Chris Rock. <laughs> Frankie Boyle. <laughs> these guys are. Oh, guys. Joan Rivers, Victoria Wood, Catherine Ryan. So, you understand what your homework is? Is that Sarah for yes? Good. All right. Off you go then. Library. Yeah, we we edited Doc Brown out of that. Yeah, I was, thinking, I was waiting. We thought it would just put you on the spot. And we knew that you you, you didn't <laughs> want that. So, basically, the, the that central idea is that she she maybe will be able to channel all this pent up frustration that she's experiencing into a, a you know a stand up comedy act which may or may not happen because her life is kind mm. of collapsing around us and what i liked about this film firstly i think that um live hill is absolutely terrific i mean you just believe in that character you are completely in her world you think all the things that are resting on her shoulders the the caring for her mother the caring for her for her her siblings everything that she's dealing with you believe in absolutely you i also think it's although the subject matter is bleak and there are moments of which is very bleak the vivacity of the cast carries it over being something which is, you know, which is unbearably grim. There is one scene in it which I thought was very well handled in which something particularly grim mm, happens. Camera moves And away. the camera m moves away and very slowly moves through the arcade and then comes out and ends up looking out onto a Margate street. And it's one of the most effective shots I've seen in a very long time because it's said so much by showing absolutely yeah. nothing. You know, while that scene was occurring, it sort of ends on, it rests on a mini roundabout. And I had this feeling of somebody stopped the car. I had my Hollywood mind on. Yeah. One of these cars is going to stop yeah, and yeah, someone's yeah, going to yeah. come out and save this, stop this horrible thing happening. Yeah, yeah. And, and of I, course it doesn't happen. No, it doesn't. But I think that, so therefore, it, it finds a way of taking... I mean, so James Gardner's got directed it, who actually used to be a skateboarder. I, I met him, I did an interview with him. He used to be somebody who earned money skateboarding. Mm. And I think this was... It's a very ambitious film made on very, very limited resources and absolutely resting on the shoulder of a central performance of somebody who's playing a, a complex role that you have to, you know, you have to invest in, you have to believe in, you have to care for, you have to sympathise for. And I... I I thought it really did that very well, and that mo that one moment suggested to me there is real um, cinematic uh, promise as well in the, in the filmmaker, not just uh, in the performances. Performances are great; it's, it's clearly a passion project. Uh, it didn't make me want to rush to Margate, I have to say. <laughs> as adverts for Margate go, it was not one of the best, but I thought it was a really interesting film, and I look forward to seeing more from everyone involved. 